Okay, now we're starting our third section of our notes, and we're going to call this one Food Web. Okay, and this is pertaining to a Schoology assignment you did on February 23rd. Okay, a food web, a food web shows multiple flows of energy through an ecosystem. And it shows multiple flows because a food web really is just showing you mul different multiple food chains. It has more than one food chain. Okay. So we'll use the food chain that we started off with in the previous video. Okay. We have our son who um, the sun gives off a lot of energy but it's not energy that can be used by any of us in our ecosystem. So we need some some something to convert it into something useful, which is our grass, our producer. Okay, here's our producer. And then that energy gets absorbed by the grasshopper, which is a consumer. And it's the first one in this chain, so it's primary consumer. Then we have the bird that eats the cricket. So this is a secondary consumer. And then we have the snake that eats the bird, and that is a tertiary consumer. Now this is just a simple food chain. This is one chain. But a food web is multiple food chains. So this is not a food web. Okay, so let's make a food web. So let's add a critter to this ecosystem. Okay, let's add a mouse. Okay, because he's new, I'm going to go ahead and label him so we know what it is. Okay. Mice, uh, they like to eat plants. Okay, so I'm going to put this arrow towards the mouse because the mouse is eating the plant and the energy from that plant goes into his belly so he can use it for energy. Okay. And let's see, what likes to eat mice? Snakes. Snakes like to eat mice. Okay, so this right here is its own food chain. We have the producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer. So you notice the snake is a tertiary consumer in this food chain. But in this food chain, the snake is a secondary consumer. So he's playing different roles. Okay, let's add another critter. Let's add in... A frog. Ribbit. Let's add in a frog. What do frogs like to eat? Well, they like to eat insects. So the frog will probably eat the grasshopper. So I'm going to make an arrow towards the frog from the grasshopper because the energy that the grasshopper has is going to go into the frog for the frog to use. Okay. Um, snakes also like to eat frogs. <laughs> so I'm going to put an arrow towards the snake. Okay. Now this is another food chain. Okay. We start off with the producer. All food chains start with a producer. Okay. Then there's a primary consumer. And according to this food chain, the frog is a secondary consumer. Okay. And then the snake eats the frog, and the, the snake, in this case, is a tertiary consumer. This is a food web, multiple food chains. All of these guys are consumers, Okay, and this is a producer here.